there friends, Mr. Strange here, and today's video is entitled, Who Got to the Moon First? Well, I can tell you it wasn't NASA, that's for sure, after what expat Taffy has found. Ooh, if that's any indication of it. Well, the first little picture, as you can see right here, is a picture of the Mongolore mercenary, right? there. Now, how can this dude here get to the moon first, huh? Well, I'm going to show you a little picture that x has got to prove it. All right there, friends? Okay. So let's just show you that picture that x Taffy has found in a shadow. Ooh, Neil Armstrong shadow on the moon, so-called moon. Oh, that's right there, friends. <laughs> Well, it certainly is. Okay, let's show you what expat Taffy has found. Let's see that one, please. Well, 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 what do we have over on this side of the screen here, eh? Well, if you didn't ask me, I would I say that that there is one of them Mangalore mercenary dudes. What do you think here, eh? Now you want to tell me how this green dude here got to be on the surface of the moon? <laughs> God, have I seen everything now? But if you think this is good, I got a few more for you. So, without further ado, let's just have a look at another picture here, please. And what about this photo here? Oh, I didn't know that Moses got to the moon before the Apollo astronauts did. <laughs> the best ones I've seen here since the whole weekend now. <laughs> Moses got to the moon before Apollo did. <laughs> well, that's a good one, expat Taffy. Oh, that certainly is. I haven't got a lot more. Oh, what about this one? And right over here, we have the North American Indian Totem Head. Oh, so what you got to say about that now, eh? Oh, that's a real cool find. Now, you want to just go and tell me something here now. What on earth is an Indian Totem Head doing on the surface of the moon like this? <laughs> So, what you saying there is that the North American Indians got to the moon first, I suppose, eh? <laughs> oh, my dear Lord. Well, that's a good one. What about the next one? And how about this one here? Wow, oh, I didn't know that they left Kentucky Fried Chicken legs up on the moon, but I suppose that Geronimo, the, uh, the totem head there, oh, I suppose he forgot to eat this one and just chucked it away as rubbish. <laughs> oh, I suppose what'll end up happening is there that vulture's gonna come swooping down, it's gonna swoop this here his chicken leg up there and take it along with his dinner. <laughs> That's a pretty good one now, isn't it? Oh, my dear God. Okay, what about the next one here? And what about this pterodactyl bird down here, eh? Whoa, I didn't know the birds could fly when there's no atmosphere. <laughs> oh, certainly does there now. See, I don't understand that now, eh? Whoa, that's a real interesting one. So I suppose the moon must have an atmosphere too. <laughs> Crap, NASA's been feeding you. But it gets better, so let's watch the next one. Now, would somebody like to tell me or explain to me how this barking dog ended up on the moon? <laughs> and what did he do here? He take his little buddy here, the Tybuna, along with him? <laughs> Now, hey, eh? what I'd like to know, because in the next photograph right after that one, uh, they're gone. They've just vanished into thin air. Probably vanished along with these fake tracks right down here, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dear God. Okay, and one last photo, please. 
Yes, friends, good old Pig Leg Pete right down there. Or as I like to call him, there's his long John Silver. <laughs> oh, what a shadow that is, eh? Well, you know what? That is a shadow of a side view. Ooh, that's a side view of a shadow. That's not no straight on shadow. <laughs> Same old story, too. Jeez, none of these shadows brighten up either. So, what about this one up here, too? Hey, whoa, see those things? See the stage lights up there again? See, we got, oh, hang on a second here. Let's go do some counting. Oh, ho, oh, oh. let's see. Here we got one light, then we got two lights, and we got three lights, and we got four lights. And last but not least, these two lights up there, which makes five lights. And that there makes six lights. Oh, it makes six lights up in the sky. <laughs> oh, now if that were real, you would sure wouldn't get that now, would you there, eh? Hey? Oh, no, you certainly wouldn't. That was what you call inside of a Hollywood stage somewhere in a basement. <laughs> And they say all these objects are on the surface of the moon. So what do you think, eh? Who got there first, eh? Was it Moses? Was it the Indian totem pole? Or was it the other astronaut there, the stuffed dummy that expat found in the last video? <laughs> Too funny now, isn't it, there? Well, let's have a little listen to what expats got to say about this. All right there, friends? So, without further ado, take it away, expat Taffy. A KFC Kentucky Fried Chicken Leg. And as you can see, you can see the skin on the right where it's been torn. You can't get a skin edge like that on a rock, folks. <laughs> no. I know there'll be lots who'll disagree with that. There'll be lots claiming, oh, don't be so stupid, it's a rock. But just let me say, like I've said before, you haven't got to prove me wrong on one clue. You've got to prove me wrong on every clue. Okay, here's the next one. I don't have to explain every fault in this one. You can find this one in my video titled NASA's dummies and NASA's suckers. As you can see, it's been photoshopped, and I proved that this is not a genuine astronaut, it's a stuffed dummy. Check my uh, video NASA's dummy and NASA's suckers. Now, here it is. I cropped and zoomed this astronaut, and what you can see is He's got an area in the wrong place. It is center back. It should be facing the astronaut right front corner. It's wrong position and it's black. It's a fake area. And to prove me right on that, use the biggest anomaly of all. Just look at his camera, folks. The camera is supposed to be clipped onto his chest. And where is it? He's got his left arm stretched across the front of his chest and the camera has been copied and pasted onto his arm. Now, if he had that camera on his chest and he wanted to put his arm across, it would either have to go over the top of the camera or underneath the camera. But it is not. The camera is copied and pasted onto his arm. 100% fake, folks. And the numbskull Astro brand didn't have the brains to spot that. <clears throat> now, folks, a post I received recently from that numbskull who's always speaking through his Astro brand. He states he don't go around claiming that he's a genius or he's brilliant like I do. To which I replied, well, there's no way you can, is there? If you're too thick to spot this camera on this astronaut's arm, how the hell can you call yourself a genius or brilliant? There's only one explanation. It's obvious what I've always said about you. You're a complete idiot. Ah! <laughs> now, folks, this photo is a fucking cracker. 
Or for those who are not um, aware, like the Namskal Astro brand, I used this word a year ago and he came back and asked me, what the hell does forking mean? <laughs> I told the idiot, just plot it into Google search and see what you get, stupid. <laughs> but I can tell you folks, this is a cracker, as you will soon see. This is going to prove again what a numbskull that idiot Astro Brandt is regarding shadows. <laughs> <laughs> the photo is AS16-110-18023. Now take a good look at this photo, folks. Can any of you see anything wrong with it staring you in the face? Well, before I show you, let me show you this again. This photo has been Adobe Photoshopped, made after 1989, folks. But what about the er errors in this photo, folks? Any of you spot it? I can tell you, one of my sus subscribers spotted a serious error right away, folks. He spotted it right away. Okay, folks, here it is. Now, if you remember, not too far back in this video, I told you to take particular attention to another astronaut standing in the left top corner, and I showed you his shadow, and I said, now just remember this shadow, where it showed a helmet shadow and a pack shadow, because the light was on his side. Now if you look at this one here, the light is on his back. Now the legs are correct, he's got the gap between his legs because the light is on his back. But from his legs up, it's a side shadow folks. It shouldn't be showing a separate blinging head and a pack. That's a deliberate clue by the whistleblowers. How can you get a side shadow from an astronaut with the light on his back. <laughs> and as you can see, to the left of this shadow is the equipment he's holding in his hand, which is supposed to be out of sight of the light on his chest or stomach. Yes, <laughs> next part with all the errors and those photographies, I'll tell you one thing, there's no way that any of those astronauts could have got to the moon. Not in the 1960s, no cotton bacon way. Now, the other thing you gotta ask yourself is, how did Bangalore mercenaries get to the moon? You see this dude right there that we were talking about right at the beginning of the video? Well, it's time to make up your mind. So, was it the Mangalore mercenary that got there first? Or was it Moses? Or was it the North American Indians? So, that's something for all you to decide. So, that's my spiel for today. Hope you all enjoyed it for the weekend. I hope you got a good laugh out of it. And you all laughed along with me because NASA's one big joke. Aren't they friends? So, that's my spiel for today, Mr. Strange out! Yeah.